When performing knee MRIs, one of the main things that we're going to be looking at is the medial and lateral meniscus. And in order to understand what we're looking at, we need to understand the basic anatomy. So it's very important to have a basic concept of what the medial and lateral meniscus look like in their normal state. Also, it's going to be important for us to localize where we are in the knee, and some anatomical landmarks are going to be good for that. So let's start by the medial meniscus. This is going to be an example of a right knee, and we're looking from above. And we see the medial meniscus, and we see it has a C-shaped configuration or a broad configuration. However, immediately we notice that it's larger than the lateral meniscus. It looks bigger and more broad-based. Also, as we go anterior, it's more narrow, and as we move posterior, we're going to see it's a little bit wider. So that's going to be one of the anatomical landmarks that we're going to use in order to identify what aspect we're looking at on the knee MRI, since we're only going to have one slice. So just by using that, we're going to be able to know we're going to be anterior or posterior. So we have the anterior horn here, we have here what's called the body, and then the posterior horn. So notice differences in, in that uh, medial meniscus from anterior to posterior. On the other side, we have the lateral meniscus, and this one's a little bit uh, smaller. It falls, this is actually more C-shaped than the other one. It doesn't have the variation in width that we noticed on the medial meniscus, and it almost comes, comes back to a full circle, and that's also gonna be important when we're looking for any pathology in that area. So that way we know. We also, although we're not gonna talk a lot about them here, we have the ACL and we have the PCL. Okay, and those are going to be two important ligaments that we're going to be evaluating when we do knee MRIs. And finally, I wanted to say that for the meniscus, it's important to know that the outer third of the meniscus is the vascularized portion. And it has an important clinical connotation when we have an injury there. That ones that are in the vascularized portion, the outer third, have a higher chance of healing, while the ones that are not in the vascular, vascularized portion have a lower chance or worse prognosis in terms of healing.